We're back with the gr with the gills. <laughs> you you almost said it. I heard yeah, you. I almost said the grants. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's my middle name. From birth. Mm -hmm. You know, there's a term in Jewish that applies to the two of you. It's called Basherta. That was meant to meet. It's a great word. It's a Yiddish word. Basherta. You were Bashert. You were meant to meet. I think I had the same thing with my wife. You were meant to meet. It, you, it, don't, it could happen when you're 70. It could happen when you're 12. Then there's one Basherta in a lifetime. Hmm. You only get one Basherta. What did you name your daughter and why? Basherta. <laughs> Not a bad name. <laughs> yeah, Her name's Karina. Corina, Corina. Exactly. Who had that hit? Oh, everybody. I think at one point. Bob Wills had the one I remember most. Is that why you Western named the Corina? Because of that song? Yeah, I like the song, but I also love the name. Because when she was born, she had these big eyes and more hair than you could ever imagine. She had hair to her shoulders when she was born. Uh, it was just on her shoulders. Was it? Okay. <laughs> it was, just hair on it was long. I mean, it was. Uh, they all said it was more hair than they'd ever seen on a baby. Did you like Corina right away? Well... No, no, it was not familiar to me. It's not a southern name. And what did you want, Mayor Beth Lou? No, but <laughs> something. We my family, we always kind of name names that everybody's already been named. Now mm -hmm. your last name is your first name and and uh but she looked so exotic. Her skin was so dark and her hair was just this black mop. And Vince said, we both agreed she needs a very exotic name. So and you got used to Corina. Well, I didn't, you know, I didn't. You fought it. <laughs> my father called. Oh. And uh, we were still in the hospital. The she was two and a half days old. We hadn't named her yet. And and he said, what are you, what are you thinking about today? What's her name going to be? And I sort of tossed off, well, Vince wants to name her Corina. And then my father blasts into the song singing, ah. Oh, <laughs> but to hear my father sing it, it felt different. I said, that's a beautiful name. <laughs> so. It's obvious. Have you recorded it? Not yet. No. But you Shouldn't have sung you it with her. Yeah, I've sung Shouldn't it. Shouldn't you record it? I should. Mm -hmm. I should someday. I probably will. Great idea. Brooks and Dunn just recently recorded it, so it might be a little too early. You know, you know is there a lot of hits in that mm -hmm. song? It seems yeah. embedded in me. When was that song a hit? Well, I knew it uh, when Bob Wills probably recorded it in the 40s or 50s. It goes back that far. Mm -hmm. It was a country song? Right. Bob Wills would have been, yeah. yeah. yeah well, it had a pop hit. It was a pop hit. And Taj Mahal did it. Mm -hmm. I mean, a lot of people have done it. What kind of little girl is she? She's a whippersnapper. Okay, a story about her? We're in, yeah. we're in the McDonald's line. Uh, I have three older children, and a step and Jenny, but three that I birthed besides Karina. Two teenagers and an 11 year old, and so we're going through the line and they're all giving me their special orders, which you know McDonald's, this is it's not good for special orders. You just need to <laughs> take what they offer. My wife asks, what's good today? <coughs> yeah. <laughs> Good. <laughs> and but weird? it's taken so long to get through the drive through and I'm looking back at Karina in her car seat. She's two <laughs> behind me. I said, Karina, do you would you like a cheeseburger, or French fries? She hasn't said a word. And she goes, I want the money. <laughs> <laughs> and all she's just one liner after one liner. She's so funny. Do you ever when I don't want to use the word bomb, are there nights? when it doesn't click, ever. Between us? No, on, on stage. <laughs> Sorry. Speaking of that, last night boom, boom, boom. <laughs> <laughs> No, night where you're singing, you're halfway through and you say, I'm not moving them. I mean, they're clapping, sure. but it's not working. I mean, over the years, you think about how many times I've stepped on a stage and, and played music over the last 30 plus years. Sure, there's a lot of nights you don't have it. You know, you're sick or the crowd's What do you not, do when you know you don't? Just play. You just play. Do the best you can. That's all I do. Are there nights, <laughs> be Amy, over soon. <laughs> are there nights, Amy, when you're feeling that way and you don't think you're doing well, where you get the most applause? Are there some nights, because I've had some performers tell me, on the nights they think they're not up to par, they get better reaction? Right. Sure, yeah. Or you know what it might be? It might be... Um, Maybe I'm exhausted, tired, tired, don't feel like doing a show. I met a little girl one night um, at a concert, and she came up to me, and she had a woman with her that didn't look like her mom. Maybe an off night for me, and meeting her totally changed it, because she 
is in a line of people. She comes up to meet me. And as soon as she tries to talk, her face is just awash with tears. And I'm looking at the woman next to her saying, are you her mother? And she said, no. And this girl was a young teenager, probably 14. And she said, no, I was her fourth grade teacher. And so I'm trying to connect the dots. And the young girl finally collect, collects herself. And she said, my mother died when I was in the fourth grade. And I recently found a journal of hers of things that she loved and things she wanted to accomplish before her life was over. And one of those things was to meet you. Well, hey. <laughs> screw the crowd. <laughs> I mean, not really, but all I thought was this whole night was about this child. And Have a good night. It was amazing. Yep. We'll be back with our remaining moments with uh, What a Night with Vince Gill and Amy Grant. Another single hit by Amy, I Will Remember You. <laughs>